In this question, we're going to have a look at using Young's double split experiment and the equation specifically from Young's double split experiment. Now, it's different for different specifications, which is why I wrote out two equations here, um, just here. The only difference between the equations, though, is that um, A stands for W, which is also fringe spacing. In the screen, or on the screen, I should say, there's maxima that appear, which gets smaller and smaller. Um, in intensity as you go further on. The distance between two of these maxima are what we call the distance between two bright fringes or the fringe spacing. X can be replaced with S which is the distance between the double slits. So if you have light going through double slits and they diffract through however they do diffract, the distance between the centers of the slits is what this distance here represents. So which combination of these makes it so that the fringe spacing is constant? It's actually option B, and let's go through why. That's because if you multiply the wavelength by 2, and if you multiply the distance between the slits and screen by 2, but then you divide, sorry, you multiply the slit separation by a multiple of 4, 2 times 2 is 4, over 4 is 1. So that just ends up at lambda t over s again. So you end up with the same fringe spacing. So it's option B. Let's now have a look at using this equation in calculation. So it's asked for the wavelength of light. Let's break it down. We first need W, the distance between two of these bright fringes. It told you the distance between 10 of these bright fringes, 1.5 centimeters. So the distance between two is going to be 1.5 divided by 10. So let's do that. 1.5 divided by 10 is 0.15 centimeters. You then have to convert that into meters because you don't want to deal with centimeters in calculation. You do that by dividing by 100 or by multiplying by 10 to the minus 2. You multiply onto that the distance between the double slits, which is given to you as 1 millimeter. Again, you have to convert that into meters by dividing by 1000 or multiplying by 10 to the minus 3. You then divide all of that by the distance between the slit and screen, which is 2.4, and this is already given in meters, so we don't need to convert it. Put all of that into a calculator and you'll get the wavelength. That's the whole purpose of this Young's double slit experiment, by the way is to measure the wavelength of light using the diffraction of light. On the calculator, that gives a value of 6.25 times 10 to the minus 5 meters. If you have any questions with that, please let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe if it helped, and I'll be sure to put more videos out on waves and Young's double slit experiment in the near future.